Uh, you know, with at the time it was THQ, so we used to have this trailer. Uh, I used to call it the the Roach Coach. It was a big trailer, and inside inside you walk in, and there was a sound booth in the back of it, and then like a little section when you walk first walked in, and it had uh, the computers and everything, and the, the audio director would sit there, and the programmers would sit there, and then we would have the wrestlers go into the back into the little sound booth and do their voiceover lines that they would use in the video game. So things have progressed a lot since then. Now we don't have to haul this big trailer around, you know. So at the time, uh, they give me my list of, of the wrestlers that I need to record. And I booked myself out for three weeks worth. So I'm like, all right, I, I'm sure I can get everyone in those three weeks. Right. So I'm getting everyone I need, except for this one guy. And I go and I introduce myself. And I'm like, you know what, I'm here to record. Did you have to knock on a casket? I, I did not have my casket, but I did, I guess. So I, I, I went over and I, you know, said hello. He knew who I was because I, he'd seen me around yeah. for a long time. Anyway, I told him, hey, I need to uh, get a few sound bites from you for the video game. And it'll take about, oh, well, five to ten minutes. Nice and easy, you know. And he's like, yeah, okay, good luck with that. And that's all I said to me, good luck with that. I'm like, that's not the answer I wanted to hear. Yeah. But okay, I'm not going to bug him, so I go and I get the next person and I can record them. So now, uh, this was the infancy stages of Facebook, I, I want to say. So I would put these little, uh, you know how people put vague posts, I would do that all the time because I couldn't really talk about what I was doing, but my friends knew what I was doing as far as my job. So I, I wrote something along the lines of uh, three down, four to go. You know, uh, one might be a tough one, that kind of thing, right? Next day comes around, we're in the next city. I go over, say hello to him again. I'm like, hey, we have the truck out there to get and told him where it was parked and said, hey, you know, if we can grab you to go do that. He's like, yeah, okay. And then it kind of blew me off again. So next night, same thing. Um, one to go, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. So I get a text message from a friend, uh, Percy, I call, I call him Percy, uh, Paul Bear. At the time, <laughs> at the time, Paul Bear was not in the WWF, All right, in WWE. All right, he, so he had already been, uh, they did the whole deal where he was buried in the cement. Get every, so anyway, yeah. he was just home, you know, uh, being semi-retired and having, enjoying his life. Florida probably? And yeah. actually, uh, Mississippi. Oh. Yes, that's odd. Yeah, that's odd. <laughs> so, he he. Uh, no, Alabama. I'm sorry, Mobile. Uh, that, Mobile, Alabama. Alabama. It's all back home. <laughs> Same fucking difference. So, anyway, he sent me a text and he said, "Hey, are you talking about Taker?" I did, and and so I replied back to him. I'm like, "Yeah, how did you know?" He's like, "Oh, I just had a feeling." <laughs> like, what is that supposed to mean? There's something going on here, right? Yeah. So he sends me another text message. He goes, I need you just do this tomorrow. Yeah. And everything will be fine. I'm like, All right, what are you talking about? So he tells me to go over to him in catering and bring him a plate of cucumbers. Get the fuck out. He set you up. And I'm like, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, why? <laughs> I've been around this fucking business too exactly. long. That's exactly what But I'm like, I'm desperate. I right. need to get this done. And he is like, trust me. I'm like, all right. Fucker. And so, <laughs> next day comes. Here I am. And, and this dead man is sitting in catering. And I walk over to the uh, area where they have salad. So I find cucumbers and I put them on a plate. I walk over and he's sitting down and I'm like, how are you doing today, sir? I said, I have a little gift for you and I put the plate down. You said I have a gift for you. Yes. Can I buy it? And I put the plate in front of him. I had never seen someone, you know like when you see in a movie when someone gets really angry and he's sitting down and all of a sudden he shoots straight up and is ready to fight? Oh, fuck, dude. That is a big it was, it was Exactly. And, and he stands straight up and just says, what the fuck? And I, and I, my eyes get wide and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was it was Percy, it was Percy, and then he just pointed. 
like go go <laughs> away. <laughs> so I uh, bolt. I'm out of there. I'm like, oh great, I'm gonna get fired now. This guy hates me. I'm done. Fucking curse. <laughs> and then so before I can, so I'm like, I'm gonna go hide in the trailer. So I go and I and before I can even open the door to the trailer, my phone is going off. I look down, I pick it up, and, you know, my flip phone, so I flip it open, and all I hear is this laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm like, what did you do? He's like, you did it, you did it. I'm like, you said to, it was, you, you told me to do this, you know? And he's like, trust me. Does he fucking hate cucumbers or something? Exactly, I find out later, but I'm like, I'm like, what did I do? Why did you have me do this? Why does he hate me now? He's like, he doesn't hate you. He's like, trust me, you're good. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean I'm like, exactly, what yeah. Do you mean? What the fuck? Right? So, he's like, just, just trust me, you're fine. All right, so a little later that day, <laughs> he looked exactly like yeah. as he was laughing Producer at me. Producer pulls up <laughs> Paul Bear and laughed his ass off. So, um, I want to say maybe an hour later, I'm bravely going back into the arena area, you right. know, and I'm walking by, and all of a sudden, big dead man comes walking right up to me. He's like, "Hey, we gonna do this recording or what?" Oh fuck yeah! I was like, "Yeah," you know. And I take him back and I do it. So then, you know, we get it done, and then um, after we're done, I call I call uh, Percy again. I'm like, "Okay, you got to tell me the story. Yeah, what's the deal?" And he told me he absolutely hates. Cucumbers, you know, to the point to where I, oh, I used to rib him on the road all the time, and if you remember back in the first ribbing is where the, you give shit to another. Yes, you're brother. pulling a prank on yeah. him, or you know, you're you're joking with him. So, uh, back in the early days of the Undertaker, he used to wear those purple or sometimes gray gloves. Right, yeah, you know, and, and so sometimes Percy would chop up cucumbers yeah, and put them in the fingers of the out. glove, or sometimes he would put them inside on the inside of the hat, hat. on the inside of the brim of his hat. Yeah. And so he told me, he's like, yeah, I used to do this all the time. He's like, he absolutely hates them. I'm like, oh, well, that's funny because me personally, I can't stand pickles. So it's like, oh, yeah, I'm back around here. Dude, that's awesome. So, so yeah, it was one of those things where he, by, by ribbing me, he also helped me break the ice. 